Good morning. Well, I'm here with Mark Rivers, CFO of Fonterra. Mark, welcome to AmCham, New Zealand. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving us your time. I've got a question for you. What should a farm-associated business expect in the next six months? Mm, yeah. Well, uh, so first of all, I think for New Zealand, uh, the, the special offering for New Zealand, of course, is uh, the beautiful place we have. Uh, consumers are interested more and more in where their food comes from. And I think in that regard, uh, New Zealand has a very special offering to make. And uh, so in that sense, I think there's every reason to be optimistic and positive uh, in spite of the usual uh, ramifications and fluctuations that go around uh, the world. And so where does digital transformation fit in your strategy for Fonterra? Yeah, uh, it fits in lots of places actually. Uh, of course, uh, on the one hand, on the consumer end, uh, it's more and more important to understand what consumers want. And so the digital strategy is really essential uh, for that. Um, we have partnerships in, in many of our markets which rely on, on companies which do digital themselves, so we, we benefit indirectly. But then we do it ourselves as well. We've built up an analytics capability in-house, so we understand you know, consumer demand more and more and that we can uh, we can match those uh, that's on the on the consumer end uh, also on uh, on the other end we also see it on the on the farmer side uh, using more and more uh, digital capabilities and technology uh, to make uh, farming more and more efficient and, re and reliable how's India going yeah, India is an interesting one. I mean, we've you know we've done really well in, in China. It's been a very important market for us and continues to be. But India, we've also uh, kind of entered. We've uh, set up a joint venture with Future Group, uh, which, speaking of, of digital and technology, is sort of the if uh, I'll just call it, you'll say it the Alibaba of India. Uh, and so we're actually quite optimistic about that. And let's let's see how it goes. It's the the largest milk pool in the world. Um, many people don't realize that, but in fact it is. And uh, and certainly we know. <clears throat> that demand for dairy always rises as prosperity rises, and so that's one that we'll, that we'll keep an eye on. Mark, thank you for your time. Thank you.